What is a resource histogram? A resource histogram is one of the tools given to us by the companies that produce project management software to help the allocation of resources in project plans. Automatic resource leveling does not usually give us the best solution to a resource allocation problem. Until we have good artificial intelligence programs to help us, automatic resource leveling will probably give us very long schedules. The resource histogram allows us to look at the individual resources in a schedule and the Gantt chart at the same time. By looking at these two displays simultaneously, we can make intelligent decisions regarding the use of the resources. The resource histogram shows the amount of use and availability for the resource, and the Gantt chart shows the activities that the resource is scheduled to be working on. Tell me more. Dot. When project schedules moved from the hands of the draftsmen who were drawing activity on arrow diagrams and Gantt charts by hand to computers, it became much faster to produce results. Unfortunately, many of these results created difficulties. Prior to computerization, resource allocation was difficult to do efficiently. When computerization began and automatic resource leveling was introduced, it was considered a great step forward. It did not take people long to realize that the computerized resource leveling was not terribly intelligent. The resource leveling algorithm used by most computer software packages examines the project schedule until a conflict arises. A resource conflict occurs when two or more activities require the use of a resource that has less availability than the resources require. Let us say that we have a five-day activity that starts on Tuesday, January 5th, and is scheduled to end on Monday, January 11th, no work on weekends, and an eight-day activity that starts on January 7th and is scheduled to finish on January 18th. Let us also say that the two activities require the full-time effort of Mary Engineer. This is a resource conflict. Both of the scheduled activities require the resource on January 7th, 8th, and 11th. In this situation the computer's resource leveling algorithm would schedule the first activity to start on January 5th and reschedule the second activity to start on January 12th when the resource becomes available. This is only one of many possible solutions to the resource conflict, and it may not always be the best solution. There is no consideration for use of total float and free float, length of activity duration, risk, or the number of other activities that depend on the one being rescheduled. In other words it is pretty simple-minded. Referring to figure 514, we have another example of a resource conflict. Here we will use the resource histogram to help us solve the problem. In weeks 1 and 2 the resource engineer one apostrophe is not being figure 514 resource histogram with grant chart fully utilized engineer one apostrophe is used for only 20 hours per week task one is the only task using our engineer during weeks three and four we continue working on task one and also work on task two since both of these tasks require our engineer to work 20 hours per week, we can schedule the engineer to work part-time on each of the tasks. This means that she will be used 40 hours per week. Now comes the problem. In week 5 and 6 the project schedule calls for task 3 to start and for task 1 to end. The trouble is that task 3 requires our engineer to work for 40 hours on that task alone. If we try to complete the work on task 2 and start working on task 3, we will require 60 hours per week of the engineer's time. Asking our engineer to work 20 hours of overtime may have mixed results from the engineer and her family. We also notice that after week 6 is completed, we have only 20 hours of work for our engineer again. There are many ways that this problem could be solved. We could delay the start of task 3 until task 2 is completed. We could reschedule task 2 to start after task 3 was completed. 
In the solution shown in figure 515, we have chosen to interrupt task 2 after it has been worked on for two weeks. At this point in the schedule the engineer starts work on task 3 and continues working on it until it is completed. When task 3 is finished, she starts work on task 4 and continues work on task 2. Notice that his solution makes the utilization of our engineer much better. The engineer is now scheduled to be working 40 hours each week during weeks 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Using the resource histogram is quite easy. Most software allows you to easily see the scheduled tasks with simple mouse points and Figure 515, Over Allocation of Resource Resolved